Everyone loves Google, and I understand it. I get it. There are several problems with Google or with the process of using Google to do scholarly research. I've got four of them, and I'm going to list them off. Thing number one, anyone can post anything to the web. Anyone. I mean, how many times have you done a search in Google and got random thing 01 and had absolutely no need for it? It was funny, but it didn't really do you any good because it wasn't what you were really looking for. Since anyone can post anything to Google, the chances of it being scholarly are pretty low because, and this brings me to thing number two, not everyone's a scholar. I mean, it kind of goes without saying. Not everyone goes and gets bachelor's, master's, doctor's degrees. They just don't. I mean, and thankfully we're getting more and more people with those degrees, but not everyone is a scholar. A lot of people who post stuff to the web aren't because they just like to have their stuff posted out there. When that happens, it's bound to come up in a search somewhere. And that's what these non-scholarly folks are hoping for, of course. It's what the scholarly folks are hoping for, too. The problem is the ratios are really, really off. Plus, you know, if you're trying to get your degree or you're doing your research for your paper or speech or whatever, you don't want to be using Google to find the information you need. And that's where thing number three comes in. Thing number three, professionals need to use professional tools. The wonderful thing about going to a university, namely SPSU, is that you have access to over 250 different databases. Having that access gives you a leg up over people who obviously don't have that access because you're going to get better quality information. You're going to have that information faster than they will. Having access to that information will save you lots of time. And honestly, it'll make your papers and speeches and projects that much better because now you're working with scholarly material, things written or created by scholars in their field. And thing number four, it's one of those things that just seems obvious to me, but then again, I see the numbers, so I kind of get it. Thing number four is you're already paying for these databases. This money comes from the state. You pay the state tuition. So part of your tuition goes into paying for the databases and the library services you have available to you. So using Google as your guiding star you're just wasting money. You're only getting half of what you want. And except in Google, you're not even getting half. Use the tools that you have available to you. As, as much as I hate quoting my old library instructor, use the tools that you're given, especially since you're the one paying for them. Now, I'll let you get back to things one and two.